Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play The Sims 4 with Jimmy Schwartz and Summer Holiday. And before I start today's session, I thought I'd sold all of the Christmas decorations, but there were a couple there that I missed. So I'll get rid of those. Right, so yes, the Christmas decorations are gone. Christmas is now over and we're ready to commence uh, normality. And as we left off last time, engaged. Yes, Jimmy and Summer got engaged. Happy little lovebirds that they are. So, and... Uh, happy days and also I noticed as I was tottering about with a few things look at this joke star back down to level zero I'm sure Jimmy was level one he's now level zero again don't know what happened there could be to do with the recent patch not too sure but not happy about it and Jimmy is starting work in 22 hours and he needs the toilet so there you go Summer on the other hand look at her perfectly fine no issues at all. In fact, both of them have got pretty high energy. So to take them to bed now would be a crime. And I was informed on the comments page on my last video that Summer Ring needed to take a, a pregnancy test. So we'll have a go and do that. After she sure. has finished chatting Down away with her fiancé, now he is. Probably talking about ah, wedding plans Beamer. already. Chewing his ear off, Jimmy more inclined to talk about <laughs> food. Uh -huh. Okay, Saman, you want to go take a pregnancy test now? Well, you can just keep talking. It's fine with me. Just take your time. There's no rush. Uh, Saman? Jimmy? Would you let her go? <laughs> she's not, she's not bothered, is she? She's taking it all in her stride. <clears throat> but the signs are good. The signs are good. The pregnancy test is just a final confirmation. Oh, eating for two. Congratulations. Summer is expecting there's going to be a new addition to the household. And Summer is sickened by this. Uh, <laughs> or it could just be the, the pregnancy that's bringing on the, the sickness. I'm hoping it wasn't the the sight of the of the positive result that caused her to almost puke up. <laughs> uh, uh, J Jimmy, uh, stop bloody pushing up in the middle of the damn living room. Look, at, don't, don't be impressed with yourself. You're not impressing anybody, Mr. Big Man. Get yourself a six pack and some bulging biceps, then you've got reason to uh, be smug, okay? <laughs> Okay, so some are going to clear up a few bits and bobs, put away books, and uh, put away platefuls of food. In fact, uh, as you will... Oh! What in the hell is going on here? The toilet is broken. Well, goodness gracious. It's a tragedy. A crying shame. But Jimmy's going to uh, fix it. We're not going to pay for it. We are trying to save it for a swimming pool. It will eventually happen. I'm telling you now. We do have 3,200 and we'll get to about 5,000. Then we'll buy the pool. So hopefully a couple of promotions and we're going to be there. Although we are having a baby, which means we're going to have to get baby stuff. Which means we're going to have to spend money on baby stuff. Which means we probably can't afford a pool. My God. <laughs> How these things seem to take over your finances. When I say these things, I mean babies, of course. Uh, okay, I think we could do with a bin. I don't see uh, it being highly efficient, someone having to walk across the road to put the rubbish away in the public bin. So uh, let's find one and stick it down. If we can find it. Uh, storage? No, I, bin I'm sure is in storage. Okay, it's not in storage. Where the hell would it be? Kitchen appliances, perhaps? Uh, plum, not one hundred. Definitely not plumbing. Appliances. Uh, miscellaneous. Aha! Here we go. Wheelie bin, 220 simoleons, cheap old bin. There, we go in the middle. 
It doesn't look too bad. Okay, so there we go. Another 220 millions away from the swimming pool that we are now. That pool fund is just getting smaller and smaller. And Summer is now playing a game on her phone in the middle of the street. As you do when you're bored at night. I regularly go outside the, the front of my house and start playing a game on my phone. Middle of the, middle of the damn, uh, you know, middle of the road. No problem. Not weird at all. Okay, Jimmy has now finished fixing the toilet and he has a plumbing upgrade part and two common upgrade parts. We'll scavenge for some more parts. And of course, he's reached the level two hand in a skill. Which means he can upgrade some appliances. Uh, superior flush. Hmm. Sounds marvellous. But uh, before we start upgrading things, I think Jimmy is trying to tell us something here. He needs the toilet. He's fixed it for a reason, because he's dying to use it. So use it, Jimmy, then contemplate upgrading the flush, okay? I'll let you off. And then we'll chuck out the trash. Alright. So time's ticking away. It's 10.28pm. And then, as I said before, they are full of energy, these two. Uh, so... We aren't going to take him to bed. I think we're going to take him out to the lounge where Jimmy will impress the locals with his comedy routines. He hasn't really delivered a decent routine in the lounge yet. He always seems to be upstaged by other people. Which is a bit of a tragedy I, when he is supposed to be the resident comedian of the town. So uh, I think we're going to have a good go with him if we can find the travel. This mobile phone options have been changed in a recent patch. Uh, travel with, of course. So travel with Summer Holiday. Take her with us. She can listen to Jimmy's bad jokes. Although I'm hoping it's a good joke. Busy? But she, she's not busy. She's playing computer games on a phone in the middle of the street. It's not busy. <laughs> busy is working or doing something productive. Summer, would you care to get your cute little tushy over here we are going to the lounge and don't make any excuses that you're pregnant it's not gonna wash with me he says with a smile on his face of course he's only joking okay so we are going to go to the lounge which is here it is a solar flare Museum? <laughs> Who wants to go to the damn museum? Anyway, speaking of the community lots, I think it's about time that we switch it up a bit. So I think in the next couple of sessions or so, we might start delving into the uh, the community library to see what creations people have made and maybe put one or two of them into our game. Stay tuned for that. And if you've got any ideas of any good locations that I should bring into my version of the game, feel free to leave a link or a comment on the description telling me of which um, created lots are, uh, you know, a lot of fun to use. Anyway, <coughs> perform a routine. Pit of Judgment is good quality, so we'll start our opening act with that routine. Hopefully, you know, grab the attention of the locals, get them hooked, then you follow it up with an average performance of Cats, Cats, and Cats. Skiba! Okay, Jimmy is off full flow. Oh, and look at this! We've got we've got some some people to listen. I would I was going to say fans, but we don't know if they're fans just yet. But we've got some people that are willing to listen to his jokes. It's a good start. Hey, oh, and even more people. Hey, it's a bloody full house here. Don't let them down, Jimmy. Don't let them down. What's happening here? Summer, <laughs> clapping and cheering, trying to get the fans, the crowd in the mood. And yeah, we got a fist pump here. Got another, yeah, we got a couple of fist pumps. That's all. We got, oh, we got clapping and everything. Oh, very good. And we got 127 simoleons there. I think this must be the equivalent of playing for tips. So now we're going to follow up with our not so good routine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have started with the okay routine and then increased the quality, ended on a high. Obviously this was very planned already uh, between Jimmy and Summer. 
On their way to the lounge, they had a bit of a conversation, and Jimmy told Summer, whatever you do, get up, clap, cheer, whoop, make sure you get involved, get the crowd going. And it's working, she's doing her job, she's trying to show her enthusiasm for Jimmy's jokes, get the crowd in the mood, and now she's off to, uh, uh, off to, uh, off to wash her hands, I think. And now Jimmy just going to just tell some generic jokes to finish off the evening. But ultimately, I think it's been a successful, go successful gig. The first time that we've really managed to get a crowd to listen to our jokes. Although these two here, very rude, having their own conversation. Although I don't like his hat, so I'll let him off. <laughs> what a pleasant atmosphere. Resident comedian telling a few jokes, soothing music in the background, a couple having a conversation over a lamp. Not quite candle at dinner, but it's close. Very nice indeed. Okay, sorry about that, just had to pause it for a brief moment. Uh, so, uh, Jimmy is now concluding his joke-telling for the evening. Well, at least the joke-telling over the microphone, because we still need him to tell some jokes to five people. Or have a funny interaction with five people to raise up from joke star level zero to joke star level one. So... Jocelyn. That's what we are going to focus on at the bar. <laughs> and normally don't try to uh, fulfill these ambitions specifically. But because I've been robbed, <laughs> I'm uh, going to try my best to power through. So some not not jokes, <laughs> hooking in the people around him, making them chuckle and laugh, lightening the mood. Even summer holiday doesn't escape. An impression. Even Jimmy's. Arch enemy, Otto Lansing, will even try to brighten his mood. Nobody shall escape Jimmy's unfunny jokes. What is he doing? What are you doing, Jimmy? What are you doing? Okay, one more funny interaction and we should be there to level two. Excellent! Excellent indeed. Right, jokes down level two. To go to level three, we need to become an adult, join the entertainment career, and own a microphone. Well, we have done all of those. So when we go home, we'll just have to check about the microphone, because last time, I remember, there was a bit of a glitch with that. But if it uh, requires us to buy another one, we will do so. And then we should be up to level three, so that's uh, very nice indeed. Summer helping herself to some snacks and Jimmy just blowing her a kiss. No matter where they go, they just cannot stay away from each other for too long. Love's young dream. 3.13am, the last few stragglers are at the bar. Jimmy and Summer being two of them. Party animals, eh? Oh, look at her! Oh, look at her! Look at, look at that hat! That is a snazzy hat! I have to say! Absolutely fabulous! Lamina Not quite on the Costa del Sol, love, but it's no, it, it, it fits, it fits. <laughs> and uh, Summer's in a playful mood, and she's listening to a bad joke. I do, dear. I, I hope that's not Jimmy's joke that was uh, <laughs> that was bad. 
<laughs> Although I can imagine it is. Anyway, it's, it's really getting late. We better take these guys home. Jimmy, looking horrified here. Yes, Jimmy. Summer said it's time to go home. And when Summer says it's time to go home, as much as you want to kick and stamp and scream about it, you know that you're going to be following suit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bartender. You were just about to prepare me a drink, but uh, my wife's a beast. It's time to go home, and when you know when she says it's time to go home, unfortunately, I better go. Otherwise, I'll be in the bad books, and I don't want that. So off they go. Run along, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm so uh, I'm so nasty, aren't I? He's probably looking forward to going home, waiting on his wife to be, mother to be, on you know, waiting on her hand and foot, bringing her breakfast in bed. Why not? Summer already home, I think. Summer, is that you? Summer? She's invisible. What the hell is that all about? <laughs> I've seen some tricks in my time, but this, this is a new one career path as a magician perhaps Pebble Burrow we are back oh oh oh, oh. Ja it looks like Jimmy's completed the second level of the joke star which means the microphone did register excellent now joke star level two for level three we need to join the comedian branch of the entertainer go three comedy routines and achieve level six uh, comedy skill well we are close to level six that's the easiest one to do uh, re three comedy routines that shouldn't be too bad but uh, I'm not sure what level we have to be in our career path to be able to specialise. I think it's level 5, so we're level 4 at the moment, so one more promotion and we'll be there. So yeah, we're not too Nicola. far off at all. Benage. And Jimmy not going to bed, <laughs> nope, he's going to eat some chocolate chip cookies. Excellent quality chocolate chip cookies, if I do say so myself, thinks Jimmy, before mm -hmm. going to bed. And they still have that new cookie smell. Breathe it in. And some, oh no, this is not some of this is Jimmy. Jimmy Entertainer, yes, he needs to be in a playful mood. I don't know how to get him into a playful mood specifically. Uh, play some computer games, maybe? <laughs> but he's so close to a promotion, I don't think we have to do anything particular with him. Just have him go to work in a decent mood. That should be enough to, to get him up to uh, level 5, I hope. Because if, if it doesn't, I think there might be a bit of a strop on. I said strop on. Yes. Uh, okay, so uh, the day is complete. We are what now? 2.14 or so minutes into the session? No? 18 minutes into the session. And it's only just the start of a new day, which means today's session might be a bit longer than normal. Right, and uh, summer holiday up quite early to say that she went to bed at the crack of dawn because she uh, needs a toilet and is my eyes playing tricks on me or does she have a little bit of a baby belly going on i won't zoom in while she's on the toilet it's a bit uncouth but uh, once she's finished weeing i'll uh, take a closer look yeah I, oh yeah i'm definitely seeing baby belly here here we go yep that is definitely going on okay that's a good sign it's a good sign good sign indeed Jimmy snoring away in bed. We'll leave him be. Okay. Obviously, uh, cravings are going on here. In the summer holiday craving cookies for breakfast. Who can blame her? Excellent quality. Prepared by Jimmy's fair hand. If I do say so myself. Again. <laughs> okay, she's going to put some music on listen to some music while eating those lovely cookies am i making you hungry yet guys do you want some cookies yet white chocolate chip oatmeal and raisin double chocolate chunk oh my god get yourself a cup of tea cup of coffee get some cookies and enjoy the rest of the session <laughs> oh she's getting that morning sickness feeling again 
Because it certainly isn't the cookies that's making her feel ill. No, oh dear, oh dear, don't, don't. Is she going to rush off to the toilet? Is she rushing off? No. She's not rushing off to the toilet, thankfully. She's off to take the trash out. Again? We took the trash out yesterday. How much trash is in this house? Although we did have a party a couple of days ago, the Christmas party, you know, the Christmas dinner party. There could be a bit of rubbish in there from there, from then. Mally. And look at all these people out bright and early. Uh. Have you got jobs to go to? Or maybe they're just like us. Every job that seems to be an evening job. Gone are the days of 9 to 5. It's now bloody 5 to bloody 12, isn't it? 4 till 12, 5 till 1. The old late shift. 